The danger of tropical weather, a threat starting again June 1st with the official start of the hurricane season. For researchers all over the world, preparing for hurricanes is a year-round effort. This new $50 million hurricane simulator lab, called SUSTAIN, could provide some answers to some of weather forecasting's biggest puzzles. Professor Brian House creates Category 5 hurricanes for a living. The interesting thing is from the top view, we kind of see like a satellite would see. Hurricane track predictions have gotten more accurate over the years, but scientists have been stumped about why storms suddenly get stronger, a mystery they believe is related to the water surface. They happen right at the, where the air and water meet, and the scales that are involved are below centimeter scale. So we can measure some things in here like that that are very important for understanding how intense a hurricane can get at full scale. Forecasters say this year's hurricane season is predicted to be slightly below average, but even in slower years, damage can be extreme. Even in a below average year, you can have a major hurricane hitting the U.S. Look what Andrew did in 1992 in a below average year. And we've had above average years and not one hurricane hits the U.S. President Obama received a briefing about the upcoming season at the National Hurricane Center where storms are analyzed and their movements predicted. But improving forecasts is only one goal of storm preparedness. Another is building sturdier structures that are more resilient to the punishing waves and winds that will strike during a major storm. Tony Winton, Associated Press, Miami.